I realize it's early, but I talked to some of you before we got started, so some of you already know that I'm, I'm really a nice guy, but I'm going to give you a test. Okay, Keith started off by telling you how often the opening range is the higher the low of the day. What was that percentage? Wow. Very good. Very good. Now, we talked about that range being the first 30 minutes. And I've only got about 45 minutes here to try and, and teach you how to use the opening range that we could literally do an entire day on. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you a bunch of charts, I'm going to show you a bunch of situations, and I'm going to focus on the 30-minute range and to a little bit the five-minute range. I have to narrow it down so that I can get you to at least believe that this is worth looking into. Okay, that's my objective here. <clears throat> I can't teach you to become an expert. The best thing I can do for you in this presentation is convince you that this is something I've got to understand. 35% of the time, the first half hour tells you that that was the high or the low for the day. And if you know that, you can define a trading system around it. You, you can manage your risk. You can set your targets. You can basically become a proficient trader. Now, depending on your time frame, some of you said you were day traders, some of you said you were swing traders. You may choose a different time frame, the first five minutes, the first 20 minutes, the first hour. The important thing, though, is that you're consistent. Okay, if, you've, if you've been trading for any length of time, that I'm not the first person to tell you this, I hope. One of the most important things in trading is being consistent so that you've got rules that you can follow, so that you understand how the markets work in your consistent view and you know when things aren't in sync. So don't get fixated on five minutes or 30 minutes or 60 minutes. Make sure you're consistent. Now, the markets have been extremely volatile lately. That was one of the criteria for the opening range being the right thing to be focused on, right? Anybody want to take a guess that if I go back and look at the SPYs, and I'm going to use the SPYs as my instrument for today because it represents, I hope, a convincing argument that this will work not only on your indexes, but it, anything I tell you today will work on Goldman Sachs, it'll work on Yahoo, it'll work on even AIG for as long as it's around. Um, it, it works on anything. Any guesses on what the percentage of the opening range, first 30 minutes, being right when we go back and look at about the last 40 days of trading in the spies. Let's see a hand, a guess. 80? That would be good, but I, too high. What, I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you the last 40 days of the spies and point out on every day that the high or the low represented was, was created in the first 30 minutes. I've got 40, I've got 50. I've already kind of given you a hint it's going to be better than 35. Uh, 80, 80 is a little much. Think about it. You're going to find out in a second. So let's, let me just make sure you understand what I'm talking about with the opening range. Here's a basic candle chart. I'm going to look at five-minute charts so that I can incorporate both five minutes and 30 minutes. But at the end of this, I'm going to show you how it works for swing trading as well. Or y you'll get it. There's your basic chart. And that's how you put your opening range on it, okay? It's, it's that easy. If you look at where the top bar starts on a five-minute chart, it's starting right after the first 30 minutes. So that's your 30-minute opening range high. Look at where the low starts. Sorry for the shake. I didn't even have any coffee. It's down. If you, look, if you can see down at the bottom, I'm just taking 10 o'clock. Market's open at 9.30. After the first half hour, what's the low? It's not the last bar of the half hour. It's the low of the half hour and the high of the half hour. That's all there is to it, folks. That's how you define your opening range, your 30-minute opening range. If I wanted it to be the first five minutes, then I would take the first bar. 
high and low, and we're going to see that later. If I wanted it to be the first hour, the high would be the same, but the, the low would be the low of that hour. Keith explained why it's important. You guys are, are awake, so I'm not going to spend too much time reviewing it, but for the sake of people who came in a little late, the first half hour, the first five minutes, is the time in which the market is digesting the news from the evening. It's the time in which traders are digesting the fact that they're back at work and they have to make some money today. Okay, I'm, I'm sure you all know the emotional sense that you feel when you sit down at that computer. At the, I actually don't care whether you come after lunch. When you sit down at that computer and decide that you're going to trade today, your day starts and there's a bunch of emotions that, have to, that you have to process before you get started. All of that is reflected in the opening range. So what it does is it defines the market's initial sense of bullishness, bullishness and bearishness. 